hey folks, BC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back. Ooh, they got a new symbol for the research. <laughs> welcome back to Evo Space. Yes, indeed. Now, I've actually switched versions. I, I'm pretty much up to where we were before, but I've switched versions. I'm, I'm playing what's called the in-dev or the developer's version now. Yeah, it, it's like two betas ahead of the release version. So there may be issues, but it loaded the uh, the map that I started in the release version perfectly fine. So let's hope everything else goes along just as smoothly. So I've got a couple of these. I think we did these last episode. I was doing a bunch of gathering and stuff off screen, got a little carried away, because like I said, I started on the different version. You also notice this building is a little bit different as well. It has two floors, and there is a reason for that. Once we get a little further ahead in our research here, well, I've actually reached there now, but um, there's going to be some changes. You can see I've put the furnaces into the floor, right? There, they're cooking away on some coal and doing just great. They're eventually, in fact, very, very quickly here. What's up, Dexter? Gonna go one layer even lower. Hey. <laughs> She's that cat, I tell ya. Alright, our computer's not doing anything at the moment because it's waiting for us to call upon some research. Let's see what we can do. Alrighty, let's shrink that down a bit. I think I've researched... Well, most of the first, yeah, I do want this. First level stuff, the stuff that doesn't require circuits to build. Although I have research circuits, so we can start building those once we reach that sort of a stage where we've got lots of, uh, lots of goodness to do. Um, assemblers I haven't done yet, I probably should. Yeah, definitely. There we go. We'll get started on researching assemblers. Our computer springs into life. We've got the models in this game, eh? Unbelievable. So, the magic thing that we got... For playing your game... Okay, I can take that out. And it'll just finish with the one it has. There we are. That will put it in the box. I'm going to do the same with this fine fella here. Whoop! Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Research completed. Beautiful. Alright, now I'm actually going to break these. The nice thing is, everything you... Oh, was there still... Uh... Oh, I got it anyway. Anything you break down, you get back. Now, the other thing I want to do before I place these back down is... I want to upgrade it. I want to take our simple stone furnace and turn it into a stone furnace with a copper-clad outer skin. Yes, indeed. We're going to move up a level here. Uh, here we are. Copper furnace. And it basically just takes four copper plates and wraps them around a stone furnace, as you can see there by the, the ingredient list below. But it's much quicker, and it doubles the heat output. So we're going to take advantage of that by having... Wow, that was quick. The uh, amount of furnaces we need to use. So, let's bring you down here. And the other thing I want to do... No, where would they be? It's not decorative. Miscellaneous, perhaps? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Logistics. Yes, here we are. I want to build some heat pipes.
I guess that last one built so quickly because uh, I already had some stock of the uh, the, the copper sheets. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of those heat pipes and I'm going to pop it up in a hole. Um, let's go with this one. Lovely. And then... I can't tell. Oh, that's just too hard to place. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cheat a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Now we can place it against there. And boom. It'll come down. So... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have this guy right underneath it. Which I believe is right there. Nope. Good try, though. There we go. Oh, good lord, really? That's not it. I need uh, seven. There we go. Now I should be able to find it. <laughs> Gather it up. Okay. And... Alright, which way round are you? <clears throat> okay, there's the front, so... Is it now in the front here or not? No? Oh, it was too. No, there it is. Okay. So let's place it directly under that pipe. Alright. There we go. Beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful thing. And then into there. Let's, uh stick a nice raft of coal. There we go. Let's go back up top. Alright, now where we've got a hole coming in the floor, I'm going to take another piece of that heat pipe and I'm going to pop it in right beside it. still have one, do I not? Yeah, apparently. Oh no, that would be why. <laughs> I don't indeed. There we go. Now, I can put those smelters back on top and run both of them from the same furnace. But I believe I can also advance the smelter. Um, let's go back to machines. There we are, copper smelters. So let's produce a couple of those. Alright. So now we've got our old stone smelters. And we can replace them with these nice copper smelters. What are you doing? Sometimes it has issues, I tell you. Alright, let's just pick these up then. And which way is around which? There we go. You go there. You go there. Whew, whew, look at those. Isn't that wild? 
Now all we gotta do, see, we got 60 heat coming into them now. Take a stack of this, pop it in there. Look at how quick this moves. Boom. All right, much better. Much, much better. So the next thing we can do, is this guy finished? He is. Good, let's take advantage of that. And we're going to, same thing, first of all, oops. Let's get in there and grab this. Nice. And it is going to produce... Uh, oh no, it's only producing heat anyway, so it doesn't matter. Boom. There, let's get at that. There we are. Okay, now... Nice. What we want to do is get together some more of this heat pipe. There we go. Ooh, I've only got enough copper on me for one. That's not too good. I'm sure we have more. Oh yeah, there we go. And we'll grab another stack. And another stack. Well, that should get us by for a little bit. Let's go back down here. Ah. Alright, heat pipes. Oh, look at all the pop heat pipes we can make now, man. They're really pricey. <laughs> they cost a lot of copper, man. A lot. Alright, let's get some of them down. Now, where's the, uh, the hole? There it is. Boom. Okay, we're gonna run it that way. Oops. Ah! That one's one farther than I thought it was. Oh, come on. Thank you. Alright, let's go back to it. There we are. Now these are all running off one furnace. Nice. With power to spare, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I'm happy with that. Now these guys, I used up all of the um, or organic that I had, and I used up what little bit of wood that I had, and it produced enough uh, coal for us to carry on for quite a while, actually. But now we need to think about making this sustainable. And I can't produce organic matter, but I can artificially produce wood. So we're going to do that. Let's build ourselves an automatic farm. Alright, we've got that guy. Yeah, okay. Now we need a way to get water, because this will turn water into trees. It's a good trick, but you've got to have water. Macerators, smelters, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, hmm. Uh, 
All right, let's go down to copper and find it that way. Okie dokie, it's an atmospheric condenser is what I'm looking for. Atmospheric condenser. Oh, I have a feeling I just didn't see it. There it is right there. Okay, we need one of these. Nice. And we've got some robo arms, do we? We could use a couple more. You could always use a couple more. Logistics, there we are. Uh, yeah, build me a couple more copper robot arms. Did I queue up two or just one? Just one, eh? All right. And I would like a bunch of the belts. Let's make, uh, oh, I like this is new. Craft five, craft 25. Ooh. Well, we'll go with five for now. We'll make it ten. Excellent. All right. So first thing I want to do is pick these puppies up. Nice. Now that. As you can imagine, for a thing that grows trees, this is a little on the big side. So let's get this dealt with. Nice. Now, that white bit in the back, that's where we want to feed water. So I need this to be a block away. Ooh, it's not going to leave us much room. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now I want it to come from here to there. And I want to do the same over here. Okay. Hopefully those are close enough to do what I want them to do. Now... Huh. Let's stretch this out. somewhere please uh, no not really I'm completely on the wrong side dude come on you banging your head getting up and down on this thing I'm, I'm getting getting to a, a better way very soon in fact what would it cost me to make I think it's a miscellaneous no, I don't want a steam pack. That's for sissies. Oh. What's all this blue stuff? I don't have blue stuff. Okay, how about a steam pack? Ooh, I can't make ten circuits, can I? Hmm. The rest of that's pretty easy. Huh. Circuit boards. So why can't I make circuits, or can I? Circuit's not a machine. Hmm. Oh, well, I don't want... Oh, yeah. No recipe. Okay. No worries. Um... What does it think I have in my hand? Oh, those. Fine. Hmm. All right, we've got this going. Now, the thing we need to build is a... Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. A copper atmospheric condenser. 
Yeah, it's like I say, it's a bit of a big puppy. Let's rotate her around so she lines up the way we want her, which is with uh, that white one to that one. There we go. Now I could put pipe and all that in there, but yeah, I'm only going to be using this for one greenhouse to start with. Okay, there we go. And this side, as we see, requires power. And if we have a look -ski at that particular piece of equipment, we'll see that it requires kinetic energy. Hmm. Which means, of course, that we need to build a Stirling engine. So, let's build us a nice copper Stirling engine. Now, what sort of Stirling engine? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Running this computer, we can be using the older model, but I think that probably is a copper one. Oh, speaking of which, we should be doing research. Never not be doing research. <laughs> uh, I want this. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> So, have you, uh, yeah, have you built me this beautiful little Sterling engine? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, you guessed it, pop a hole right there. Mm. I'm going to jump in after it and try and grab that. Arg. Oh, there we go. Okay. And into that hole, uh, let me uh, just for, you know, just so I can get up on both sides of this thing for just a change. All right, let's grab that Sterling engine. Sterling engine that it is. And uh, let's get it placed. We need it to get around that way. Boom. Nice. Now we want to get... Hmm. Dixie's growling in her sleep. She gets quite vicious in her sleep, actually. Okay, here's the choices. I can either run heat pipe all the way along here and up to there. Which is going to cost me probably 60 or 80 copper. Or, and this is the route we're going with, I can simply build another one of these, excellent. Grab myself a heat pipe. Get up the hole there, boy. Did he get up in the hole? I don't know if he did or not. Hello? Did you, did you? No? Not gonna fit, are you? Or am I just out of them again? No, I've got one. So, I got a feeling we just need to, uh, do a wee bit of drilling. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I didn't fit when I fell through, so, you know. Oh, I really should just run the heat pipe, but... It won't kill us to have another furnace in this part of the place anyways. So, let's get ourselves a pipe. Okay, why is it simply not going to go in there? Oh, because that sticks down that far. All right. No need to explain more than that, dude. I get you. All right, now we can grab our Furnacio. Really? I might have dug a bit deep.
Come on, get in there. There you go. Oop, I don't want that one. I wanted one level. There we are. Okay. I'm stuck. All right, let's bring her out one more. Okay. And right on top of this, we're going to place this guy. Uh, let's face him. Which way is the actual that way? Well, we're going to go this way. Okay. And into that. Oops. Into that. We're going to put 32 bits of coal. Let that process get started. And I would like you to produce water. There we go. Output is busy. Is that not meeting up with the input? I'm sure it is. to get it to choose something as well oh yeah you things that are capable of producing more than one thing doesn't necessarily mean they're capable of knowing which thing they should produce yeah there's not too many mind reading machines in here oh, I guess it's just way overpowered okay that's fine Yeah, that's zooming away. Okay, it's got a chunk of wood. Hmm. Maybe these guys aren't close enough. That guy certainly should be. Well, there we go. Okay. That's now getting wood. You know what? That's kind of a good thing, because I think what I want to do here instead, because it's just occurred to me that that's great. That's going to produce coal for us, right? And if we look at this, yeah, it's getting wood. Once it gets enough to produce a thing of coal, well, it'll produce a thing of coal. Right? So that's fine. It is getting fed now. Right on. And it doesn't need a recipe. No, it only makes that. It don't make nothing else. But what they will do is turn coal into coke, which is a much, much more efficient fuel. 
And to do that, all we need to do is this. Okay, here we go. It's got an it, it finally got enough to produce its first piece of coal. Oh, I should disconnect this. There we go. Oh, this has got this in it. No wonder. So where did that piece of wood go then? Hmm. Well, it didn't get put in there. We can suck this back up too. There we go. Alright, you should be just about to produce a piece of coal. Okay, there we go. There we go. Lovely. Alright. See, now this guy will take this, and he's going to turn it into coke when he gets enough of them. I'm not sure how many it takes. more than five. Now it may end up producing ten pieces at a time the same as this thing does. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Output is busy. Put... Why is the output busy? Output is busy. Huh? Output is busy. Why does it want to go into any output? Oh, I wonder. Is that empty? Yes, it is. I think what I might have to actually do here... Oh, wait a minute. Now it's feeding it. Still says output is busy. the output busy. Okay, I'm going to take these. Um, I'm going to pop you apart, and then what I'm going to do is put it back down, but facing with the back to there. See how we do. Um, where is it? There it is. Copper oven. Whoa, you're a big puppy, aren't you? Alright, where's the front, the back, the side, any of that stuff? Okay, there's the front. So, one, two, three. That should be it there. Yeah, should be. Uh 
Okay. Output is busy. What? Hmm. Alright. One last thing. Let's try. I really hate putting this here. Because it's not at all the way I wanted to set this up. Okay. Busy. <laughs> this is driving me nuts. This should be working. Really? All right. Okay, we know this thing's working. So. Let's grab these. And they feed in through the back. Where's the front? Okay, that's the front. So. And then. Skip a block, put that there. It should still be the front, it is. And if we take and put this from there to there, I wonder if that was the problem before. Okay. We took it in. Let's uh, go to morning. We don't want to be sitting here in the dark. Takes a while. How's everything doing over here? It's probably ground to a halt. Yeah, it has. <laughs> Let's throw some copper in there. And let's throw some in there. It's starting to get low. That's okay. Hundred seconds. Wow. Come on, four, three, two, one. All right, there's now 10 coal in there. Oh, you are not in the right position. I can see by the... Uh, there we go. 
needed to put you 180. All right, that seems to be working now. Good stuff. don't want her to actually go into that chest, believe it or not. Um, yeah. Not at all. Yeah, it's a slow process to start, but it will pick up speed as we go along here, of course. So, recipes. Oh, is this stopped? Why? Oh, we have no fuel. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. The whole place is just shut right down. <laughs> that is the problem with only having one power, initial power supply, of course. Anything that's counting on it to work, like this. There we go. We're now getting coke, which has a much better burn than coal. Lovely. So. Now, whereabouts is that oven? Down there, right? Alrighty. So now... This way. Uh, see, it used to be. That when you got to this, it wasn't that difficult. Um, probably still isn't. It's just me. How are we doing here? Oh, wow, we're 45 minutes in. We're going to have to call this pretty quick. Um, oh, I didn't mean to place that. Why did I place that? Ah. Well, this is going to take some finagling around. But yeah, I'll bring this down and we will feed it into there. And then we can pluck off of it to send it to other places as needed. So... <sighs> Quit pressing the button, Dopey. Uh, 
looks good, but I can't quite be what I'm after here, I don't think. Uh, yeah, see, you used to, if you get it like that, it would produce like a junction box. It doesn't do that anymore. So I'm wondering if maybe that's now up to us. Uh, it's going to be under logistics. A splitter. Well, let's see. Okay. All right, I think I need to uh, place a block for this thing to work. I suppose I could just have taken this one back a block. Okay, let's grab that splitter. Okay. So if I put it there, and then delete that. Oh. I believe if I click on this, I want the output to be number three. Huh? Hmm. What? <laughs> uh. All right, now I have some. Oh, and it didn't retain it. That's okay. I'm pretty sure all I got to do is do that and then pop that in there. Oh, yeah. Is that Hmm. I don't get it. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to uh, Is it asking for one of those maybe? Wants to know what the output is? Can I have one of these? <laughs> Where would I get one if I wanted one? There we are. We'll take these. Okay. Oh, it's not three. Oh. What number is it? Five. Oh, oops, it's 
not R. I don't want that. I want output 5. I don't know what I'm supposed to put in here. Yeah, but it only sent one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it took any of those out of my uh, inventory. See, that one definitely looks right. It's this that doesn't quite appear to be what it should be. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to let it go there. And, uh, oh yeah, I got my stuff back. So it's output 5, eh? Hmm. Alright, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will get this figured out one way or the other, and uh, we'll go from there. Take care of each other, folks. Ciao for now.